Now I thought today I'd make up jambalaya. Now jambalaya is a great dish because it's all cooked into one pot. Nice and simple to do. And I'm gonna be using some chicken, chorifo, we've got prawns, vegetables, spices, and the rice, and it all comes together at the end, and it just makes a really scrummy dish. So give it a go. So for making up this jambalaya, I'm just gonna go through the ingredients I'm gonna use. Now I've got it all laid out. Now what I'm gonna use is 200 grams of a long grain rice. I'm using basmati rice. I've got some prawns, handful of prawns, tomatoes. Now I'm gonna use these little baby tomatoes, nice and ripe. I'm not gonna bother trying to peel them. I'm just gonna chop them up, put them in the pot. You could use the bigger tomatoes, but you probably wanna get the skin off. So you might need to blanch them in hot water, pull them out, peel your skin off and then chop them down. Or you could use, you know, half a can or so of chopped tomatoes, can of chopped tomatoes, up to you. Now we've also got some peppers, these little baby bell peppers, red ones and I've got, you know, yellow ones. But if you've only got one, one big one, just use whatever you've got. A couple of chilies, now you don't have to use those. I've got two, they're not particularly hot chilies, but I thought I'd put a couple of those in. Two cloves of garlic, peel the garlic, and if you can, you wanna crush it. Two bay leaves, dried bay leaves. One onion, so peel that, chop that down. Couple of sticks of celery. Now chop off the fat end a little bit because it's a bit tough and a little bit on this end and then just slice it all the way down. Now I've also got some spring onion. That's really for garnishing it at the end. So once you've got it all done, you put some spring onion nicely chopped up along with some parsley and you can garnish it with that. Now I've got some stock here. I'm just gonna use a couple of cubes of chicken stock with 600 millimeter, milliliters of boiling water. I mean, if you've got a chicken stock you normally use, go and use that 600 mil. Now, I've got here some chicken and we've got some chorifo. Now with the chicken, these are chicken thighs without the bone, so the boneless. In terms of weight, about 400 grams. What you wanna do is chop that down into bite-sized pieces. Chorizo. Now with the chorizo, it's a lovely sort of Spanish sausage and it's got, you know, paprika and it's got garlic and it's just a lovely sort of dry cured sausage. Now I've got 150 grams of that. What you really need to do with that is just slice it on the top and then you just peel the skin. You see the skin, just peel it back, unwrap it if you like, and then you can chop it up and use that and it's wonderful. Now, We've also got some spices. I'm gonna use one teaspoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon, or maybe a little bit more, of Cajun spice, and then we've got one teaspoon of Tabasco sauce. A Little bit of salt and pepper seasoning, and a lemon, if you wanna give a little squeeze of lemon at the end, once you've garnished it, we've got the prawns, the parsley, it's up to you. So there's all the ingredients, Now I'm gonna get it all washed up, all chopped, Go over to the hob, get on with the cooking. So I've come over to the hob, I've got it all prepared and I've got my pan, I'm gonna cook it all in. Now I'm just gonna take the lid off. Now we're gonna start by cooking the chorizo. Now I am gonna use just a tiny little bit of oil just to start the chorizo off. You don't need a lot. Now switch that on, I'd say round about a medium heat. So I'm just gonna put the chorizo in there. Let's just grab that. Just pop that in there like that. Now I'm just going to give that a little move around. Just turn the heat up a little bit. And what we want to do is just get a little bit of colour on this chorizo. Now with that chorizo, I've probably been cooking mine for about five minutes or so and I'm going to pull it out. But look at all that lovely flavour that has come out of the chorizo. Now, I'm just gonna scoop that out. That's it. Just gonna cover that up. Now next of all, I've got the chicken. Now, I've got the chicken at the back here. I'm just gonna season it. Salt, a little bit of seasoning on there. Freshly ground black pepper. Again, just make sure the heat's just about medium still. And then what we can do is just pop that all in there. I'm just gonna give that a quick move around. 
Now I'm going to add in Cajun spice. I've got about a teaspoon. Sprinkle that on that chicken. Lovely. And with the chicken, just give it a quick move around. Get it in all those flavours with the oil. The flavours that come out of that chorizo. And I'd say really just give that two or three minutes, turn it over, and then we can put it in the bowl with the chorizo, and then we're going to add the onions. That's it with the chicken. I've been cooking it, coming up for three minutes, so I think we can take that out of there now. Lovely. Just turn the heat down a minute while I transfer that. I'm going to put the chicken in with the chorizo, so just pop it in the same bowl. That's it. Again, just cover it up. Now, I think next of all, we're going to put in the onions. That's it, all chopped up. I think at the same time, I'm going to put the celery in there. Give that a quick move. Now, if you need a little bit more oil, just put a little dash in there. That's it. I'm actually using rapeseed oil here. Now, again, I'm also going to put in the peppers as well. Throw in the chilies. Give that a bit of a move around again. Like that. Now, I'm just going to pop a lid on this. Cook these down probably for about five minutes or so. Now I've had that vegetable mixture cooking for slightly longer than five minutes, probably seven or eight minutes in the end. Now I did take the lid off and just give it a move around now and again. That's it, just starting to get a little bit of colour, that's slightly softening down, so that's, that's good. Now what I'm going to do is make a little space there and we're going to pop in the garlic. And also, might as well get the paprika in there. Again, we're looking for about a teaspoon of that. That's it, lovely. Now let's just give that garlic just a quick move around in there. Right. Now I think I'm going to grab the meat, the chorizo and the chicken. That can just go back in there. Try and get all those juices. I do. Again, just give that a quick move. Now I am going to put a little bit more seasoning. So, a little bit of salt. And again, the black pepper. Give that a final move. Uh, now, we can then go in with the rice. Now with that rice, what you want to do is really give that a good mixing. Get it coated with all that oil, lovely flavours. So just do that until you know all the rice is nicely covered. That does. Now, I've got those tomatoes. Might as well pop those in. The bay leaves. Now I've got the stock, and remember, we've got some Tabasco sauce to go in. So again, I'm just gonna measure out in my little pot there, about a teaspoon. Yeah. Put it in with the stock. And then we can just pour that in. Try and make sure at least all the rice is in the water because you've got to cook this now just to get the rice nicely done. 
So just squash it all in the liquid if you can. Now what I am going to do is turn the heat up, put the lid on, bring this up to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, then what we're going to do is turn it down to a really low heat. Now mine's just come up to the boil. I'm just going to turn it down. So now I've got that on a really low heat, just enough really to keep the steam going, but you want to cook the rice nice and slow. Now, we're going to cook for roughly about 20 minutes, and just towards the end, I'm going to pop the prawns in there, and you know, then it's pretty much ready to sort of dress up with the onions, the parsley, and a little bit of lemon if you want. So leave that cooking away, don't stir it, don't take the lid off, leave it for 20 minutes on a very low heat. Now I've had the rice cooking for pretty much 20 minutes. Now I am just gonna quickly taste that, see how it is, because it's all about getting the rice cooked at this point. So grab a little bit of rice, try that. That's almost done. I'd probably say, I might just give mine another four or five minutes. So probably looking at 24, 25 minutes for my rice. Now in a couple minutes time, I'm just gonna put the prawns in there and then, you know, we just dress it up and it's ready to serve up. Now I've had the rice cooking for pretty much 25 minutes. Two or three minutes ago, I just popped the prawns in there. Mine were already cooked prawns, so I just popped them in there for a couple of minutes. We did taste it at 20 minutes and obviously I just felt my rice needed just that little extra five minutes. So we've been cooking for 25 minutes. Now I'm gonna switch it off the heat Take it over to the table, we're going to put the spring onion, the parsley, season the prawns maybe, and a little squeeze of lemon if you like. So I've brought my jambalaya over to the table. Now let's just take that lid off. Oh, what a smell. Beautiful aromas. Mm. Now what I am going to do, just on the prawns there, I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of lemon juice. It's up to you whether you add lemon juice, but I think it's nice just to pop on these prawns. And then what I'm going to do, just put a little bit of seasoning just on the prawns there. And then what we can do is put some parsley. Looking good. Get some on there as well. Like that. I'll leave a bit in case I want to put it on the plate. And then we've got some of that spring onion. Like that. Put as much as you like on, and obviously you can put some when it's on the plate. Now I'm just gonna put some of that on a plate and try some. Oh yeah. And again, always just pop a little bit more parsley around it. Always nice. Now, let me just uh, tuck into this and see how it is. Now, I think I'm gonna start with a little bit of that rice and the chicken there. Mm -mm. That rice is really well cooked. It's just right. Got so much flavor in it. You know, those spices, that is delicious. And with that chicken, You've got the Cajun spice. Oh, that is just lovely. Mm. Let me just uh, go for one of these prawns, I think. Oh, look, a bit of chorifo there. That's a bonus. Oh, that chorifo, I love it. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I've got chorifo on one side of my mouth and a really nice prawn on the other, and it's just absolutely mm, delicious. That is a really nice, simple meal to make up. And it'll feed quite a few of you. Really tasty, all in the one pot. So give that a go. The main thing about this dish is get the right rice just nicely cooked. Cook it until the rice is just right. Because it don't matter how good it tastes, if your rice is not cooked, you're gonna get complaints. Thanks for watching my videos. I'll see you on the next one. And if you like what I do, don't forget to subscribe, that's always appreciated. And again, all those ratings. See you again, the original Naked Chef.